Hello viewers and welcome to today's quest. We have the Heroes Quest. I can start this quest by speaking to Axietes at the Heroes Guild located north of Taverly. As all required quests are complete and I have enough quest points to complete this quest, you are going to need 25 herb lore, 50 mining, 53 fishing, and 53 cooking, all of which are boostable. Now for the things it mentioned that I have, to do this for quests and whatnot, you need to have 55 quest points, have completed the Dragon Slayer, Druidic Ritual, Lost City, Merlin's Crystal, Shield of Arav, and you must have a partner. If you do not remember what you were for Shield of Arav, just go to your quest list, scroll to where Shield of Arav is, and it will let you know. Right up here above where it says, with the help of my friend of the rival gang, it says, for me, Katrine welcomed me as a black arm gang member, so I'm going to need someone in the field. Phoenix gang. There are a few ways you can find someone is either one of your friends or the clan that you're in may have somebody that is looking to do the quest and may be in the opposite gang. There is what is called the official Jagex clan chat named OSRS space SOA. And the best way I think really is to go on Reddit until somebody agrees to do it with you. So the starting out point is going to be the same for everyone. And then I'm going to do the gang specific things just to show that and get that over with at the beginning. What you are going to need is you're going to need a fishing rod, fishing bait, dusty key, Harlander potion unfinished, a pickaxe and ice gloves. The fishing rod, fishing bait, dusty key, and ice gloves are all obtainable during the quest. I will be obtaining the dusty key and ice gloves and I'm gonna see if I can pass by where fishing rod and fishing bait are so you can see where to get those. If you are in the black arm gang, you are gonna need a black full helm, black plate body, and black plate legs. Please keep in mind it cannot be the trimmed variant and it cannot be a plate skirt either. Neither will work. If you are in the Phoenix gang, you're going to need something for ranged or mage style combat. A toxic blowpipe will not work because it does not have enough range. As you can see, I got some arrows here and I got a bow. So I'm, range is pretty much well better than mage for this account in particular. It's also recommended to bring some combat gear in order to kill the Ice Queen. She is particularly susceptible to magic. There is a safe spot. You're going to want some stamina potions or energy potions, something weight reducing. For running through Taverly Dungeon, unless you have the 70 agility required, most of you won't. I do, but I'm going to be showing the long way around. You are going to want to bring an anti-dragon shield or a dragon fire shield as well, well as an anti-fire potion because we're going to be running past some aggressive blue dragons. Also going to want to bring a games necklace to get to Birththorpe to get to the Heroes Guild quickly as well as a Varrock teleport. A few of them. As well as a way to get to Port Serim that runs you by a bank such as an amulet of glory as you will have to bank all your combat gear before you board the boat to Entrana. This will also allow you easy access to get over to Brimhaven unless you want to go to Ardoin and take the ship over which is by far the cheapest ship method to Brimhaven. If chartering a ship, you're going to want to bring anywhere from a few hundred to a few thousand GP and bring a Falador teleport to get to Taverly quickly. It helps to have 43 prayer to protect from melee and you're also going to want at least a couple of Camelot teleports because it help you charter a ship to Brimhaven or to get to White Wolf Mountain later. May it please be noted if you finish this, you can still help additional players to complete the quest. And for the first part, we're going to find need a way to Varrock and Brimhaven, as well as our gang specific items and some stamina potions. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk to Akedis and we're going to choose chat options one and four. I'm a hero, or may I apply to enjoin? I'll start looking for all those things then. Okay, so the first thing first, we are going to get the Master Thieves armband because that is what requires your partner. So we're going to go to Varrock. Now, if your Black Arms is going to be done first, we're going to go to the Black Arms hideout. So you want to go south past the sword shop and just past that, there will be a little alley to the west. You want to go there in the southwest building. That is the hideout. Please note if you've already done this and you're just doing this again to help a friend, you do not need the black armor, you can just go straight to Brimhaven. And when you speak to Katrine, choose chat option 2. Is there any way I can get the rank of Master Thief?
now I'm gonna go get my stuff to get to Brimhaven real quick. Off to Brimhaven, so I'm gonna go to Catherby and then run over and take the boat. And if you're already in Brimhaven at the Stone House, just skip to about the 6 minute 30 second mark in the video. So when you get to the boats, look for someone in blue and right click Charter and head to Brimhaven. Now we're going to head to the buildings to the southeast. Particularly we want the building just east of the bar. The building has two doors. You want to try and go through the northern door. It has a grand piano within the building. When you speak to him, you're going to want to choose four leafed clover. And then you can enter. Now you want to speak to Trobert, choosing chat options one and one. So, you can help me get Scarface Pete's candlesticks? I volunteer to undertake that mission. If you haven't already, equip your black armor. Now we're going to leave and follow that pathway to the west, and that's going to lead us to the front doors of that big stone house. You're going to want to enter that. And then once you've shown your ID papers, go inside. Now we need to find Grip. Do not attack him, you want to talk to him. He is different from everyone else because it looks like he is wearing steel as opposed to black. Choose chat option 2 and 3. So what do my duties involve? Anything I can do now? Okay, we have a key. Now we need to go outside and we wait for our Phoenix Gang member. If your partner happens to be an Iron Man, you want to use the key on them, because otherwise they can't be traded. Okay, now the Black Arms person can wait because it's going to be on the Phoenix Gang person now. Wait for your partner to get in a position in the northeast small room of the mansion, and then you're going to want to go back in. Go into the northeast room right here, right next to where your friend is. You want to open the cupboard, choose chat option one. He won't notice me having a quick look. Grip comes into the room, close the door. Closing the door prevents him from walking out of the room once attacked, and tell your partner to kill him. When the Phoenix Gang kills Grip, Black Arms Gang takes his key. You'll want to go into this northwest room here. So head out of the cupboard room, head west through that door, and just to the north you see another door with a couple of chests in it. That's the room you want. Using your key on the door to gain entry. Chest you want to open is this northern one. Search it. And there we go, we got our two candlesticks. Now we're going to head out.
trade the candlestick with your partner the same way you traded the key, and then you can head to Verok and speak with Katrine. Choosing chat option two. I have the candlestick now. That snags us our Thieves Arms ban, and now to show the Phoenix Gang part. So if you are a Phoenix Gang member, you want to go to Varrock and you want to head to the Phoenix Gang hideout. If you go all the way southeast to the church, you'll see that it has a couple of buildings joined to it going west. You want to go to the last western building that is joined to it. And there will be a trap door that you can go down there. Climb down this ladder. And you want to speak to Straven? He will tell us of the password Gherkin. So now you're going to want to make your way over to Brimhaven. I'm going to go to Camelot and charter a boat over. If you want a cheaper method, you can go to Ardoin. The boat to charter over there is significantly cheaper. Unless you have an Amulet of Glory, then you can just go to Musa Point on Kremja and run west. On Brimhaven, where you want to end up is in front of that big stone house. It's just to the west of the food store and just north of the bar. Hopefully your partner will be there with a key to give to you. If you're already there, feel free to skip to the 12 minute 18 second mark in this video. and you are going to want to trade them, in which case they will trade you the key. If you are an Iron Man, you have to instruct them to use the key on you and accept to drop it for you. And then that way it'll pop under your feet and you can pick it up. Now in the food store, which is the building just directly east of us, you are going to want to speak to Alfonsi the waiter about gherkins, so choose chat option three. Do you sell gherkins? Okay, go through the door where the chef is. Through the door just to the north. And speak to Charlie the cook, choosing chat options one and two. I'm looking for a gherkin. I want to steal Scarface Pete's candlesticks. Now this secret wall panel here, next to the range. Want to push it? And we're gonna go into this door here. You want to use your key on this locked door inside. Make sure you stand next to this little slit thing in the wall that kind of looks like a cross and you're gonna wanna tell your partner to come into the room, search the cupboards, then close the door once Grip is in the room and you kill Grip. Grip's a bit of a pushover, so just quickly dispatch of him, and when it is done, just go back the way you came, and you want to wait outside the stone brick house for your partner to give you the candlestick. Remember, if you're an Iron Man, you have to use the items on each other. You cannot trade them directly. Take it. Now you want to go back to the Phoenix hideout in southeast Varrock and speak with Straven. Make sure that you have killed Grip yourself 
in order to get those candlesticks or they will not be accepted. Sweet. Okay, from here on in, everyone's is going to be the same. This is the only part where you're going to need two people. Everyone else can do the same thing regardless of which one they're on. So now I'm going to head to the bank and we're going to take off this armor because that is incredibly heavy. And we're going to get ready for the rest of this quest. Okay, now this is for the rest of it. If you want to bring any boost, we're going to be going to the Taverly Dungeon next. The main one that lets you skip most of it, including getting the key, requires 70 agility. There is a lesser one that requires 63 agility, but it doesn't really cut a whole lot off your thing unless you already have the dusty key. Then you, I'd recommend taking it, but um, I'm going to be showing how to get the dusty key as well. You're also going to want to bring some GP in order to buy the fishing rod and some bait. About, I'm just bringing 20, that's all I really need. Also, I'm going to be bringing a Falador teleport tab in order to get to the Lava Eel spot. I'm using the Taverly dungeon. You can also use the one in the Lava Maze. However, I would not recommend that as obviously it's in the wilderness and I don't want to go there. I'm also going to be bringing your unfinished Harlander potion. You're going to want to bring some food as well as something to kill the jailer if you are getting your key. I'm going to be opting for mage as I'm going to be using this against the ice queen anyway and I can pray against most things so I'm just bringing my graceful to help me run. Also bring my dragon fire shield. If you have an anti-fire dragon fire shield that'll work well as well as well as an anti-fire potion just in case those blue dragons want to get a piece of you. I'm also going to be bringing my pickaxe, some stamina potions, and some food just in case, as well as my glory because this helps me get to Port's room quicker. If you're going to Lava Maze, grab yourself a knife or a slash weapon. So I'm going to use that and I'm going to go to Drainer Village and then I'm going to head over to Port Rim. You're going to want to head over to the fishing shop. When you get to the fishing shop, you're going to want to speak to Durant, choosing chat option three, as well as buying a bait and rod from him. Now he sells two rods, the fly fishing rod and the regular fishing rod. You just want to buy the regular fishing rod. And technically you only need one fishing bait, but I like to over prepare, so I'm going to buy five. And I'm going to talk to him. I want to find out how to catch a lava eel. So you're going to want to use this blemish snail slime on the unfinished Harlander potion. This will give you some blemish oil. You do not want to drink it. You want to right click use this blemish oil on your fishing rod. You now have an oily fishing rod. Feel free to discard the vial and the sample bottle. They are no longer needed. Now I'm going to head to the Taverly Dungeon. Now I'm going to quickly pick up either a slash weapon or a knife from my bank. I'm including an insert of where in Taverly to go. You want to go to the southwest part of Taverly. And please ignore the knife that I seem to have accidentally picked up along the way. That's not needed since I am not going to the wilderness.
Then you, when you head down, if you have the 70 agility, which I do, you can squeeze through this. However, for those of you that do may not have it, I'm going to show how to get around it a little differently. You're going to want to head north. Quick note, if you have the agility to go through there, you want to skip to 24 minutes and 7 seconds in the video. Until you come to the first door, you can go through here. See prison door? Gonna go through it. Head through the southern door and head east. Then follow it south as soon as you can. If you have 63 agility, you can squeeze through those loose railings. However, that still requires the key. However, if you're doing that and you have the key, jumped 23 minutes and 46 seconds in the video. Just want to keep going all the way south. Past the lava, all the way south. South past the hill giants. And once we get into the Black Knight's Fortress, you're going to want to go through that southern door there, past the tables, and to the east. This is where we have their jail. You will see a jailer, kill him. You will use melee if you want to protect against that. Pick up his jail key and open the southern door. Use your jail key on that to open the southern door. And speak to the explorer. Choosing chat options one and one. Ask for no reward. So, do you know anywhere good to explore? Yes, please. You can drop it and talk to him to get multiple keys, but it doesn't really matter we just need the one right now don't need the jail key you can drop it if you want to we're gonna head back up north to where the lava was Now this path here that has a bridge, we want to go over the bridge and north. This is where you're going to want to take that sip of the anti-fire. And we're going to want to go through this wrought iron, this gate right here by the lesser demons leads into the blue, de blue dragons. So you want to go west and then south. Thankfully there are plenty of people killing them here so I don't need my anti-fire. Yay! And right here all the way south where there are some baby blue dragons we also have some fishing spots. You'll notice them because unlike the rest of the lava there's like this little swirly pool there. So we're gonna want to catch some stuff from there. And we have our lava eel. Yay! You don't need to worry about catching multiple of them because they have a 100% cook rate. You cannot burn them. And we are going to want to go somewhere to cook this. So 
So because I still have my glory on me, I'm going to go to Al Karid because that's a pretty convenient place to go cook something. But you can just go to any old range that's convenient for you to get to. Now we're going to want to go bank this eel with the armband because next we are going to be going to get our ice gloves. Now for this part, you are going to remember to bring your pickaxe and stamina potions. If you already have the ice gloves, you can skip over to the entrana part. If not, you're going to want to bring a Camelot teleport as well as preferably mage to fight the ice queen. Most, most of the stuff it will attack with melee, so protecting for melee is pretty much all the only thing you're going to need. So bring combat gear if you are lower level. Make sure to keep your amulet of glory or whatnot so that we can get to Entrana quicker afterwards. And I'm gonna head to Camelot now. And we're gonna head over to White Wolf Mountain. And if you are boosting your mining, make sure to bring that with you while we pass by the bank. So let's go all the way east to the mountain. If you already have the ice gloves, feel free to hop to 30 minutes and 55 seconds in my video to where we go get the fire feather. And we're gonna to wanna to run all the way north up the mountain past the gnome glider. When you get here, you're going to see a rock slide. You're going to want to mine that out. Now you're going to want to take the southern ladder. Go southwest and up the first ladder that you find. We're going to want to take the east ladder down. And now we just follow the path all the way around. Please be aware that the queen chamber is multi-combat. So you will have everything wanting a piece of you. Now at the end of this tunnel, you're going to want to climb up the ladder. Then climb down the ladder to the north. And we are now in the queen's chamber. So I'm going to go a little bit north to try and show you where to safe spot her. Now the part we want to go to is we want to lure her where her throne is to the east. There is a spot where nothing can attack you there. It's all a matter of getting her to that point. So let's go north to get her aggroed. You're going to want to protect from melee because everything that piles you attacks with melee. Make sure to attack her and then run just to that little area to the east. And it's almost like there's an invisible wall, nothing can hit you there. And just kill her. 
can turn off your prayer and just wail on her. back on so I can yoink the ice gloves and I'm gonna head to Draenor. Now we need to make sure that we bank anything that can be used as a weapon as we're gonna be going to Entrana. Make sure to keep the ice gloves on you. Bring your armband, eel, and games necklace to save yourself a banking trip later. Okay now we're gonna go to the Entrana boats. Right-click, take a boat. If you won't allow you for whatever reason, that means you are carrying something prohibited. And we're going to want to go by the law altar. So we're going to head east and then north. I'm just going to take a quick stop to pray at the altar, just because my prayer got drained. Go north over the bridge, north past the farm, and a little north past the altar. Around here, we're going to see the firebird. It likes to wander around, so you may need to search for it a little bit. Wear your ice gloves, and let's attack it. Take the fire feather that it drops. Now can you use your game's necklace to return to Birthorp to go to the Heroes Guild and quest complete this. So we're gonna go back to Akedi's. Congratulations, you've completed the Hero's Quest. You're awarded 3,075 experience in attack, defense, strength, and hit points, 2075 in range, 2725 in fishing, 2825 in cooking, 1575 in wood cutting and fire making, 2257 in smithing, 2575 in mining, and 1325 in herb lore. You now have access to the Hero's Guild, so you can recharge your amulets of glory. You can also buy and and wield dragon battle axes and maces. You also now have the access to recharge your Amulet of Glory using the Fountain of Rune, which has a very rare chance of turning it into an Eternal Glory, which is what you see me with a lot, which is a glory with unlimited charges. And this also unlocks the ability to use the Charge Dragonstone Jewelry Scrolls, which you may get from your treasure trails from time to time. If you want to know where to recharge, go through the doors. Climb down the ladder here to the southwest. You have a bunch of bats. You have a single caged blue dragon. You got some mithril and adamant rocks and some coal, I think. Primary place you want is the Fountain of Heroes right here. You just use your Amulet of Glory on it and it will automatically recharge. And I believe that is all for this. As always, if you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up or down, depending on if you found it helpful for you. Feel free to drop a comment in the section below telling me how you liked my guides or how I could improve upon them to make them more useful for you. And always follow the links in the description below to my Twitter, Patreon, Facebook, and the very rare time that I stream on Twitch. And until the next time, ciao!